Hello everyone, grab your MyView Literacy book 1.3 and open it to page 24 and 25. This is the first story from our new book. I can read traditional stories. Spotlight on genre. Fable. A fable is a type of traditional story. It is a short story that teaches us a moral or a lesson. The tortoise and the hare. Hare asks tortoise to race. Hare is fast and tortoise is slow. During the race, hare takes a nap. Tortoise passes him and wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Fable anchor chart. A fable has characters that are often animals. Did this have characters that were animals? It sure did. It had a hare, which is a rabbit, and a tortoise. A moral or lesson. That's down here. Our moral was slow and steady wins the race. It's trying to teach us that we don't have to rush around all the time. Sometimes doing the work slow but well is best. Plot events. Problem, resolution, or outcome. The problem was that hare is fast and tortoise is slow. The solution was tortoise passes him and wins the race because hare takes a nap. So we had a problem and solution in this story. The Ant and the Grasshopper, a retelling of Aesop's Fable by Mark White, illustrated by Sarah Rohal. Some words we're going to see are stored, meaning you saved it, bagged, asking, gathered, collecting, and prepared, getting it ready. An ant lived next to a grasshopper in a large field. The ant woke early each summer morning. He was a hard worker. All day long, the ant gathered food. He stored it in his house. So what does that word gathered mean? Right, he's collecting food to, and storing it. The grasshopper woke up singing every morning. He had a nice voice. He loved to make music. All day long, he sang and danced. Come sing with me, the grasshopper said whenever he saw the ant. The ant's answer was always the same. I can't stop now, he said. Not even for one song, the grasshopper begged. It's a lovely day, but the ant kept working. What do you predict will happen in this story? Highlight details that make you think that. So what do you think is going to happen? Do you think Ant will stop working to sing with Grasshopper? What do you think will happen to the Grasshopper because he spends all of his time singing instead of working? One prediction I have is that the Ant will have lots of food and the Grasshopper will have none. On rainy days, the grasshopper sat around at home. He made up songs. The ant worked at home on rainy days. He prepared and stored his food for winter. Look, he's washing it to get it ready for winter. Highlight the details that help you correct or confirm your prediction. I don't have an answer for my prediction yet, so I'm going to keep reading. One winter day, the grasshopper went to look for food. He found nothing. Ooh, that confirms my prediction. There is no food. The grasshopper knocked on the ant's door. He asked for some food. Underline the grasshopper's problem. So what's the grasshopper's problem? Right, I already underlined it. He found no food. The grasshopper went looking for food. He found nothing. You spent all summer singing, but I worked, the ant said. Now you can spend the winter dancing to keep warm. Look at all the food in the picture. So the ant had lots of food. That confirms my prediction too. But I know you have food, said the grasshopper. That's because I spent the summer getting ready for winter, the ant replied. There's a time for play and a time for work, the ant said. 
underline what the grasshopper learns from the resolution or outcome. So the ant decided not to give the grasshopper food because he spent all of his time working and the grasshopper spent all of his time playing and dancing. So what did the grasshopper learn? There's a time for play and a time for work. This is the resolution, but it's also the moral of our story. It's teaching us a lesson to work before you play. Go ahead and turn the page. What makes this text a fable? How do we know it's a fable? Did it have animals as the characters? Did it have a problem and solution? Did it teach a lesson? You need to write those as your answer. What is the author's purpose for writing this text? Why do you think the author wrote it? Was he trying to persuade us to do something? Was he trying to inform us about something or teach us something that was true? Was he trying to entertain us with a fun story? How do you know? What can the ant learn from the grasshopper? Use text evidence. So we already know that the grasshopper learned that he has to work before he plays. But what could the ant learn? Let's look back at the text and see. Come sing with me, the grasshopper said whenever he saw the ant. The ant's answer was always the same. I can't stop now, he said. Not even for one song, the grasshopper begged. It's a lovely day, but the ant kept working. So the ant had lots of food and lots of storage supplies, but the ant never had any fun. So something that the ant could learn is to take a break every once in a while. Breaks are important because they help you learn.